already I've got this feeling, this buzz, the Paralympic spirit, spirit is all over Rio. But if you want a few more facts, most certainly we're going to have the very best athletic performances ever. The best times, the best distances, the best scores in wheelchair basketball, of course, I'm a little bit biased there. And then, uh, of course, we're going to have, we've got already 1.5 million tickets sold, and that's really since the end of the Olympics. And, uh, and the widest ever TV audience around the world that there's ever been. Some great stars on show. Yeah, well, I've always been very positive. Uh, once we were able to get our hands on some of the facts during the Olympics of the state that we were in, and we were in a very bad place, then our small team, as it was then, of myself and our Vice President, Andrew Parsons, and our CEO, our dynamic CEO, Xavi Gonzalez, we could really get to work and turn this thing around. Then with great support from our offices in Bonn, great support from our National Paralympic Committees in our sports, here we are today looking forward to a great Games. The fastest athletes in the, in the Paralympic world. I mean, you're going to be seeing visually impaired athletes, uh, whether that's uh, Omara from, uh, from Cuba, going close to 11 seconds for the women and going close to 10 seconds for the men. I mean, it's just amazing when you don't have anything like full sight. Uh, in the T44, we're going to see 100 metres, you know, Johnny Peacock, can he defend his title from London? Uh, there's plenty of people out there ready to take him, for sure. And uh, just the fastest people on the planet. Tatiana McFadden uh, going for seven goals, never been done before, from the 100 metres through to the marathon. She's going to be a superstar in the USA. Carl Lewis, watch out once, once they see it on TV. And Siaman Rachman, the strongest man in the world. He's ex I think he's been holding himself back. He's going to, going to break the 300 kilo uh, mark. In, uh, and you know he's got such a soft hand when you shake it. But uh, he doesn't need to be hard, you know, he knows he can throw you around the room if he wished to. First of all, a transformation in, in the world's perspective, and of course coming closer to home, uh, Brazil's perspective, and, uh, and also Rio and the Carioca's perspective on just what human beings are capable of when they really get to it. So when you get that positive reaction, you only make major change in society through positive experiences. You don't make it through passing laws. Laws are important, you know, accessibility laws and all this, they act as a, a safety net. But it can be really transformational. There's been some good work done in the city here and throughout Brazil. With a great performance from the Brazilian team, they could be fifth in the medal table or even better. Uh, then the, the opportunity to really have all people as members of one society in Brazil and in the world. This is what's going to happen here. It's going to be the people's games and it's going to involve every sector of society.